what we're going to do is we are going to assign macros to both buttons and to your ribbon. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go to our developer tab on our ribbon here. Now if you don't have the developer tab, what you need to do is you need to right click and go to customize ribbon. Simply make sure that there's a checkbox beside the developer tab here and then you will have the developer tab on your sheet. And so we'll say OK here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go under the controls section here. We're going to drop the list arrow below the toolbox here and we're going to select a button here. So we're going to click on that and we are going to go down to a little bit further on the page and we are going to insert our button here. It comes up right away and says, um, "What do you? Which macro would you like to in, to install with this button?" And I would like to run the company macro. The company macro is one that I have just created uh, a little header for the top of my sheets. And so I'm going to say, "Okay." So now we click away, so it's not selected, and then we go click on. The button, I'll get my little header at the top of my sheet. Now you can, of course, you can right click and edit the text so that it possibly it says um, letterhead or something like that to make it more usable. The problem with this button on my sheet is that this is where my the rest of my text would go with the the um, the sheet that I'm doing here. So sometimes a button on your page isn't exactly the perfect thing. So let's put it on our ribbon. Up on our ribbon I have a section called extra stuff and I can show you how you do that as well. But what we're going to do, we're going to put a button on this extra stuff that will run our macro so it doesn't have to go in the middle of my page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to right click and we're going to customize ribbon. So I am going to go to the extra stuff here. Now below where it says commands from and then you can drop down the list arrow here and you can choose macros. So my macro is company. I'm going to click on the new group so I can add in my macro here. And then I'm going to select company and I'm going to click on add. So now we have the new group and I have my company macro underneath it. So let's click on new group here and we're going to rename that. We're going to rename that as macros. And now we're going to click on the company itself and we're going to rename that and I'm going to call it letterhead. Okay, so now we say okay. Now, so let's open up another sheet here. And so I, I mean my extra stuff um, extra stuff tab here and I click on my letterhead. And now my letterhead is all set up for my page and I do not have to uh, worry about a button being in the middle of it. So that's how you assign macros to both buttons and to your ribbon. Please subscribe.